Hello, and welcome back. It's your host, Lights, Camera, and Action here. I made my debut yesterday, and I'm here for more. I hope you guys enjoy. On this week's news, the inevitable happened. Reddit, the former champion and safe haven for libertarian and geeky ideas, took down a post on a tutorial on how to copyright Adobe CC. See, a lot of you might not know what Reddit is, but I'm sure most of you do or have seen articles on it, but not really known how it works. Well, Reddit is kind of the uh, like the former 4chan, what 4chan is today. Uh, 4chan is obviously a little more gruesome and a little wild in its ideas and content, but at its core, it's a safe haven for these libertarian ideas and for people to come together and really away from the outside world to share ideas that maybe not be PC or you know maybe would not be accepted, but it's a whole haven. You can see the outrage as this claim as it triggers one question to the philosophy of Reddit. Is it succumbing to corporate mandates? like we've seen on YouTube. Popularity of the internet is virtually founded on these types of tutorial videos, and they're not all just how to cook an egg or how to change a tire. From a click of a button, you can find anything from hacking your gaming console to downloading music illegally. Though it may seem controversial to some, these types of videos have been around since the beginning of the internet, and they will be around since the demise. Go look for yourself on YouTube and tell me how long it takes in the comments below to find one of these controversial videos. I guarantee you, it'll be a few seconds. So if YouTube, known for appealing to advertisers and revenue over creators and viewers, have these sorts of videos on them, why would this so-called safe haven of the internet be taking them off their platform? It was obvious there was a notice sent by Adobe to Reddit asking them to take down so-called copyright material that was posted on their website. And Reddit, trying to protect themselves as well as the relationship with Adobe and possible future advertisers or investors, took down the video. The video in question posted in 2016 did not link any materials to authorized or unauthorized Adobe software, as well as any tools or materials to legally download or legally get this software. Actually, Reddit users were outraged at the Reddit admins for taking down such a video. So was it illegal? Was it copyrighted material? Or were Reddit admins just trying to protect themselves as they hoist themselves into the corporate market such as YouTube? The video was shown to three different lawyers at three different separate law firms, and although they did not want to take a stance on their firm's beliefs, two of the three talked about contributory infringement, which is a means by which a person may be held liable for infringement even though he or she did not actually engage in infringing activities. The author in the video in question has the opportunity under Reddit's guidelines to combat these claims, but doing so they'd have to give up their name, address, telephone number, and statement that you can send to the judicial of federal district court for the judicial district in which the address is located which in turn would open themselves to all sorts of lawsuits. So under threat of lawsuit, even the biggest proponent of freedom of speech and access to information will turn away at these claims simply because of expensive legal fees just for an idea. This has been seen recently by YouTuber Ray William Johnson who took a case to court simply because he could. He was rich and he's like, what the hell, I'll do it. By the way, whoever is out there who created that video on Reddit that has been taken down, contact our office and we could see what we could do to help. There have since been more claims and takedowns of videos on this Reddit by even moderators of the Reddit. They face a hard situation because at one point they made this Reddit in order to share these ideas, but now they face a hard decision. Do they stick hard to their ideas and their beliefs or do they abide by Reddit's guidelines to stay on the site? Just another day in copyright law. That's why I love the business. So thanks for watching. We'll keep you updated with uh, tomorrow's news story, next week's news story. We'll see big tour news, big copyright news, cryptocurrency, all the big guzz, all the big buzz. Thank you very much. Stay tuned. Lights, camera, action. Camera in action. Legal notice disclaimer. The foregoing is general legal information only and not legal advice or a substitute for legal advice. The information may not be accurate, complete, or current. Do not rely on our videos. The law offices of Stephen C. Vondren, Vondren Legal, is licensed to practice law in California and Arizona. The decision to hire a lawyer is an important one and should not be based on attorney advertising alone. This is an advertisement communication. We do not handle all calls in all cases.